So big breaking update coming in where the CPIM state secretary Kodiri Balakrishnan has stepped down from his post where he has been the secretary of the Communist Party of India Kerala State Committee since the year 2015 which is the highest office within the party at the state level now he has uh, stepped down from the post as a CPM state secretary going across to Ashwin for the, this big breaking update so Kodiyari Balakrishnan has stepped down as the state secretary of the CPM can you give us more details what led to this Yes, it is a huge ramification. It, the party has been at, at, a, at a defensive ever since the gold smuggling scam came out. Now, followed by it, what has uh, jolted the party big time is the arrest of uh, CPIM uh, former state secretary Kodiri Balakrishnan's own son, who's right now in the custody of ED in Bangalore. Now there has been a chorus demanding is uh, demanding uh, CPIM uh, Kodiri Balakrishnan uh, uh, to step down. But however, earlier the Politburo had said they they equivocally said uh, uh, Kodiri Balakrishnan need not step down due to this, as it is as he is a family member and he is not a party member. However, the way uh, Binish Kodiri's investigation is going on, it is certainly embarrassed. He has been charged with the money laundering. He has been charged with uh, links to narcotics. So these two cases are very grave and the uh, investigation is going on. So although the notice which has been, the, uh, the notice which has been given says that he is uh, uh, leaving uh, uh, due to health reasons, the uh, public is definitely saying that it need it is need not be that it is the embarrassment that his own son has caused to the party the party is certainly looking uh, very very seriously at this development and uh, binish kodiri has been charged with grave violations of uh, narcotics and the case of uh, money laundering to an extent of 5 crores the amount which uh, the, the binami properties which is attached to cpm uh, uh, kodiri balakrishnan's own son it has certainly caused this kind of uh, mm. action from the uh, cpim quarters it would certainly affect the party because the elections, the local body elections are coming next month. It is just 25 days away and it is during this time a party state secretary stepping down from his position would definitely jolt the party. It will cause a big embarrassment. So and Ashwin, Ashwin, there is a huge can you tell us what really in changed in the last few days because the CPM Kerala Secretariat had observed that Kodiyari Balakrishnan does not have to resign from his position of the party state secretary. They had also a Firm faith in the Kerala State Chief Minister Pinaray Vijayan too. So, what changed in the last few days? It, the, what change has been uh, the uh, the stance by the public stance. There is a huge public pressure because CPIM is thoroughly embarrassed by what has happened, what what the evidences which are coming out on a daily basis. As I like, as I right, as I said earlier, Binish Kodiri, his own son, is in, is indulged in, uh, is allegedly indulged and is caught up in the narcotics and the money laundering. The ED which had raided his own premises where once Kodiri Balakrishnan also was living, that home was raided and they found the uh, the debit card of drug peddler uh, Anup uh, Mohammed. And now the ED is investigating those things. They are saying that uh, the usage of that particular ATM card, the debit card which was found in Binish Kodiri's home was used by him. So the, the, the accusations which uh, ED has filed in the court, which categorically states that Binish Kodiri uh, is thoroughly involved in various dubious activities. That oh, is yeah. the statement given by the ED. It certainly puts uh, the CPM uh, right. uh, the party in... in so in this a is very, a big very, setback very, to the CPM where the state secretary Kodiri Balakrishnan has stepped down from his post. Uh, he had been the secretary of the Communist Party of India Kerala State Committee since 2015 which is the highest office within the party at the state level and uh, right after even affirming their faith in him, his son Vinesh Kodiyari, who has been sent to the Central Jar Prison in Bengaluru after special court remanded him in judicial custody till the 25th of this month in a money laundering case. Thanks very much, Ashwin.